Okay, hey there. So really quick one today. Regular staying in gear viewer, Dave, asked a really good question yesterday. When you're refreshing your plan, can you change the start date of it? Because if you're on the app, all you can do is set it to the current day. Well, it turns out you can actually change the date, and I didn't know this, so this is really cool. So on loser.com, you go to the goals page right here, and you say edit plan. Now, before I do this really quickly, on the app here, you can see my start date for my current plan is actually April 19th. It just so happens that on April 19th, I was messing around with the, the refresh plan feature, which is here. I mean, by the way, if you want to know how to do this, if you're on the goals page on your app and you can click change, this is where you have this option down at the bottom to start and refresh plan. So the only option it gives you here is keep the data or clear the data. It doesn't give you a date option. So I'm not going to do that. I did do that once on April 19th. So what I'm going to do now is pick a new date from which to start my plan or to backdate my plan, I guess. So let's just look at the log to get a better idea. Yes, I'm over 62 calories at the moment. That's gonna change. So yeah, if you go, oops, on my log screen here, I'm gonna tap the top and look at my weekly history. So there's April 19th, but I really started like a week before that. I mean, generally, I mean, and I really actually was the week before that that I was logging everything. But as you can see, I wasn't taking my budget serious. But I was deliberately going over budget that week because I was trying to get used to the idea of logging everything. But I don't really want those totals in my history, or at least in my plan history. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my plan to start on April 12th. So now we'll go back to the website. Again, if you're on the homepage, click on goals at the top. And then down here edit plan and leave all this stuff the same, but then I'm going to change the date right down here to April 12th update. So yeah. So now, now that I've done that plan, oh, there it goes. Okay. So there we have the actual start date there, more or less. Uh, oh yeah. See, there's, this is why I want to refresh my plan. This is why I didn't clear all the data because here you can see like everything I've done since I started using the app. But since most of that time I wasn't logging, if I was, if I had been logging most days for the past 12 years <laughs> or however far back this goes, I might change my plan date to be back in 2009 or whatever this earliest date is here. Yeah. So anyway, there you have it. That's, that's a way to uh, adjust your plan to the date, the start date that you want, any start date that you want. And, uh, will hopefully massage the data in a way that's more meaningful for what you're currently doing as opposed to what you weren't doing before you started your plan. So I hope that's useful. Thanks for the question, Dave, and I'll see you on Friday, thereabouts. Thanks. Dave, regular staying in gear listener or watcher, viewer, 